Okay, in this video I'm just going to go over a couple of easy steps you can take uh, to help prevent clouding on the ends of your camera lenses. So I'm going to show you, um, this is our quite small 1139 camera. Um, the steps from this one will apply to most of your larger outdoor CCTV cameras. And uh, this one here is our IR01 wireless camera. Again, uh, another camera that we can uh, take these steps with. I'm going to pop this one to the side for the moment and uh, just show you on a slightly clearer 139 camera. And uh, what we're going to do is first of all just slide off the weatherproof cover from this camera. Um, you find most of them will just slide off. A couple of the larger cameras will have a screw on the top you need to take off and the cover will just come off there. Uh, now, a little bit of elbow grease will just help to remove the end of the lens on this one here. There it is. You shouldn't need to force your camera. It should come off, but some are tighter than others. Now, the clouding you might get on the end of your lens um, isn't caused by water getting into the camera per se. Uh, our cameras are all waterproof. Um, it's simply caused by changes in the weather, um, particularly the spring and the autumn where um, the sun may not be falling on your cameras or they may be in a bit of shade or there's a bit of a cold snap in the mornings and the lenses can get quite cold. And um, a little bit of moisture in the air is something that we can't really prevent getting in, just collects on the inside of the lens. Um, so you can either just take this opportunity now to rub the inside of this lens here, just carefully around with a lint-free cloth, the sort of thing you might use on your mobile phone or tablet computer. Um, well, the best preventative measure we can take is actually with one of these here. Um, this is the silica gel that you tend to get in most uh, of our camera packages. You may get it in a lot of electronics, uh, sometimes uh, with trainers. Um, all this silica stuff does here is absorb moisture in transit, and we can use this to our advantage here. So with a pair of scissors, I'm just going to cut the ends off one of these bags here. And best to hold it upright if you've ever opened bag of rice or sugar, you just know it goes everywhere if you open it a bit willy-nilly. I'm just going to tip some of these out to my hand here. Now we only need about three or four and these, I've got too many already. So you can see they're just clear beads. Now this stuff is not really good for you, so I wouldn't recommend putting it anywhere near anything you're about to eat and washing your hands before you make yourself anything. And all you need to do is just pop these into the lens. This won't cause any damage to the camera. What it will help do is, in the mornings, in the afternoons, where the temperature changes, just help absorb any extra moisture you may get in your camera and prevent any clouding in the camera. They are not too tight, just tight enough. And you can hear it's not really rattling around all too much. So what I'm going to do is just put the weatherproof cover back on. And you've got to line it up just right here. And there we go, that's our camera all sorted. So I'm going to take you through the same principle, just with one of these cameras here. And what you might want to do is just carefully peel back any stickers that just go over the join on these cameras here. Let's take it off this one. The corner there. Just keep that in a safe place. It's just got our technical details on it. And again, just gentle twist. That one actually comes off a little bit easier there. There we go. And again, that's our camera. Obviously, making sure that none of your cameras are plugged in while you're doing this. You don't want to cause any damage to it. And again, just a couple more beads. And we'll just place them gently in the lens there. And again, if you want to take the opportunity here to rub the inside of your lens with a cloth, you can do so. You just put them to one side on the lens there. And that's exactly why. You just want to make sure that rubber grommet is still over your lens. I have to put it on the right way around. There it is. And just put that cover back on there. Hold it down. And it just twists back on. And there you go. Your camera is good to go back outside. Clouding free.